So, ito po yung code. Okay? Just go on to education.microsoft.com and um, claim this code. And also, if you are seeing this QR code here, um, kinihingi po namin yung tulong nyo to um, answer a quick survey para lang po makita namin where can we improve on our discussion, right? So, by the way, kung napansin nyo, di ba, wala pong demonstration ngayon na nangyari dun sa mga naunang trainers natin because it's just a preview. Lahat po ng mga yun ay matututunan nyo dun sa three-day training na gagawin natin once you are already admitted in the program. All right. Now, let me show you how are you going to um, claim your certificate and badges in the Microsoft Educator Center. So as you can see now, I'm now logged in into my Microsoft Educator Center account okay, in education.microsoft.com. So for you to claim that badge, just click on your profile picture okay, and click Redeem Achievement Code. And so you paste nyo lang po, kakapin nyo lang, paste nyo lang po yung achievement code dyan, and then you'll be getting your certificates already. Now also, here, um, for you to get Okay, to download your um, CMIE certificate. Okay, pwede nyo pong ipaframe yan. Okay, download nyo po, print nyo po, pwede nyo pong ipaframe. Okay, so just go on to your My Profile. And as you can see, I have here all my uh, badges that I've earned, no, including Minecraft, Flipgrid, 21st Century Learning Design, at marami pang iba. One note, ayan. So nandito po, okay, ito po yung itsura ng badge. Okay, on your... Ayan, nawala na siya. There you go. This is your certified Microsoft Innovative Educator badge that you can actually share okay, in your social media accounts. And you can also okay, view your certificate. All right. We just uh, download it. Ayan po. So, pwede nyo pong i-download yan. You can save it to your computer. You can put it on your portfolio. Wala pong problema. This is a certificate okay, issued by Microsoft through the Microsoft Educator Center by at least finishing two courses or two hours course in the MEC or the Microsoft Educator Center. Okay? And, uh, ayan. So, as you can see, na-complete ko po yung CMIE ko nung, May, uh, nung March 13, 2017. So, matagal-tagal na po na panahon. Okay. So, ayan po. Now, Balik tayo dito. Dito naman tayo sa ating next steps. Okay, next steps na po tayo. Ito na po, tuturuan ko po kayo papaano po yung process ng pag a apply ng, uh, sa Microsoft Educator Ambassador Program. Um, as Grace discussed, no, dat, dati, ang, MI, ang, um, ang MEA program, umiikot po kami sa Pilipinas. All right. Um, we go to uh, major cities in the Philippines or to nominated cities in the Philippines. We interview teachers and um, even private individuals who wanted to join the program. But right now, dahil nga po sa ating situation no, with the pandemic, gagawin natin virtual lahat. Okay? So, ito po yung steps ng ating application. So, you can screenshot this. Okay? Screenshot nyo po yung mga sunod-sunod na slides. Okay? First step, create a two-minute video. Second step, create a sway presentation. Third, fill up the application form and submit your application. Okay, ganun ka simple. Pero ito po yung details, papaano. Let's talk about creating your video. Okay. So your two-minute video um, will, should be, you know, um, answering. No? Create a two-minute video answering one of the following questions. Ano yung mga question na yan? Okay, so how do you use Microsoft technology to improve learning outcomes using the following technologies? Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or OneNote? Choose one technology lang po. Choose one application lang. Okay, next. How do you use Microsoft technology to promote diversity and inclusion? No? Paano ba tayo maging mas inclusive sa ating um, classroom? No? Um, some teachers, for, they, for them to become inclusive, they're actually using Flipgrid. Okay, so Flipgrid is a way for you to be more inclusive in the classroom. In a way, you can cover every student. Kasi may mga estudyante tayo na hirap na uh, sumagot or nahihiyang mag-recite sa ating class. And you can actually use Flipgrid para inclusive lahat. Lahat sila sasagot dun sa question mo. Okay? 
How do you use uh, Microsoft technology to spark interest in STEM or prepare them, prepare your students for work readiness? Diba? So, yan. Um, say, for example, I'll be using Minecraft. Diba? It's a Microsoft technology okay? um, to spark um, interest in, um, say, coding or programming diba? or Python or JavaScript. See? So, you can um, use those technology. Right? So, again, with all this um with all these questions isa lang po yung sasagutin po natin okay two minute video now let's talk about the video guidelines naman diba so for your video guidelines be direct concise and clear on your video okay so um in our previous uh um engagement no nung kami pa ay nasa nung tayo pa ay pwede pa mag face to face Sobrang haba ng mga video ng mga Maya, di ba? Yung mga nag-a-apply, ang dami nilang sinabi. So, <laughs> right now, dahil uh, medyo gahol tayo sa oras, di ba? Kung panunood tayo ng 15-minute video, di ba? So, much better, 2 minute. So, be direct. So, wag nyo na pong sabihin, ako po si Ufer, ako po yung nag-aral sa ganito, graduate ng ganito, masters ng ganito, nagtuturo ng ganito. Wala na po. Okay? Just answer the video correctly, direct. Okay? Pili tayo ng isang question, that's it. Okay, be creative as possible. No? So, um, aside from answering the video na ganito, naka-video lang kayo, tapos sinasagot nyo, tapos hahayaan nyo po yung um, evaluators, yung board of evaluators natin to imagine kung ano po yung um, inyong, um, inyong sagot, di ba, sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng technology. So, better siguro, gawa tayo ng demonstration, di ba? So, one minute, answer the question, and then perhaps you can create a video demonstration. So, tip for you to create a video demonstration, you can use the PowerPoint screen recorder that is available in, in Microsoft PowerPoint or you can actually use Microsoft Teams to record yourself do, um, doing the demonstration. Okay? So, say for example, you wanted to demo the accessibility checker diba? for you to become more inclusive in the classroom. No? So, pwede natin gawin yun. For example, pwede mong i-demo si... Uh, Si immersive reader, diba? as, a, as a learning tool in OneNote. So, pwede mong gawin yon using your PowerPoint screen recorder. No need to download po yung mga um, flashy screen recorders, ganyan na magbabayad pa kayo. You can just use PowerPoint and Microsoft Teams for you to record. Okay? Then, okay, last video guideline is please, please keep your video to two minutes. Okay? Sa two minutes po, sobrang haba na po yan. Alright, so kasi kung direct po natin sasagutin, okay, wala na pong paligoy-ligoy, then mahaba po yung 2 minutes na yan. And with that 2 minutes, pwede po po kayong mag-demo. Do you know that I have demoed Windows 8 in 8 minutes? Okay, ganun, kadam, ganun kahaba, ganun kaikse, at tapos sobrang dami kong na-demo. So with 2 minutes, kayang-kaya nyo pong i-demo yung isang feature at kayang-kaya nyo pong sagutin yung question doon sa ating um, video. Okay? Now, step two, create a sway presentation. Create a sway presentation and attach the following. Kaya po, kaya po natin ginawang step by step to para at least, um, yun po talaga yung unahin nyo, video presentation muna. Okay? Attach po natin following your MIE certificate, di ba? Yung Certified Microsoft Innovative Educator that, um, na, that you can get from your uh, Microsoft Educator Center. Your two-minute video, kailangan po natin i-attach. And then there is an optional picture. Okay, optional po ito in case lang. A picture of you delivering a learning session with your fellow teachers. Okay? So wala pong problema. Sabi mo, sir, hindi naman po Microsoft yung tinuro ko sa mga teachers ko eh. Wala pong problema. Okay? Can, we just wanted to know. Okay? The, the Board of evaluar, Evaluators wanted to know uh, kung naranasan nyo na pong magturo okay, sa inyong fellow teachers, kung naranasan nyo na pong magturo sa adult learners. Kasi po, um, there are a lot of teachers are very comfortable in teaching students. Pero pagdating sa adult learners, parang kinakabahan po tayo. And yes, understandable po yun. Ganon din po ako dati. Diba? Kayang-kaya kong magturo sa mga estudyante. Okay? Because I, I was invited um countless times no um, in schools to become their speaker pero ang hirap po minsan magturo sa adult learners 
Okay, so yan. Optional po yun if you wanted to um, put in your picture. Now, let's talk about Sway. So ngayon, tuturuan ko na po kayo how are you going to use Sway okay, in your application. Okay, so direct, ano po ito? Direct turo. Okay, yung step by step pa paano natin gagawin yung Sway natin sa ating um, application process. But before that, let's watch what is Sway. This is our most popular exhibit. Come a little bit closer so you can see this amazing creature called Squishy. You have ideas and projects that are interesting, meaningful, powerful. Now there's a new app that helps you easily pull together, format, and showcase them, while still giving you freedom to adjust the design and reflect your own unique style. Introducing Sway, a completely new way to express yourself. Search a wide variety of sources without leaving the app. And simply drag and drop your content directly into Sway. Sway gives you the power to assemble and present your ideas. All just a tap or click away. It lets you create a polished, living, breathing canvas of your ideas on the web using a variety of multimedia that you bring together with ease. Select a layout and style for your content, or let Sway do it automatically by showing suggested combinations for you to consider and change at any time. Seamlessly integrated with the web, social networks, and your devices, your creation can be shared as effortlessly as sending a link and will look great on any screen. Sway lets you easily pull together, format, and share your ideas on any device from anywhere. It's an all-in-one elegant solution that's unlike anything you've used before. Reimagine the way your ideas come to life. All right. So now, um, to know more about Sway, ano ba yung Sway na yan, Ufer, di ba? Para nakita niyo yung video, how, how can I make a Sway presentation? And to some of you, perhaps narinig niyo na po kung um, ano yung Sway, okay, sa mga baguhan pa, baka hindi niyo po nagagamit, di ba? Um, let me show you a presentation, a Sway presentation about Sway. Okay. So, ayan. So, let me, uh, there you go. So Sway is a combination okay, of your Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and even OneNote. Okay, so yan po si Sway. It's a combination of it. And um, you can integrate everything in Sway. So tignan po natin. So what is a Sway? It's a digital storytelling app right? that you can um, use um, in your classroom. So not just in the classroom. No? Um, si Erwin... No, one of the best practice ng Sway na nakita ko, ginamit niya po si Sway to, to um, create his wedding invitation. So, nung, nung kasal po niya, okay, hindi po siya nagpamudmud ng papel ng invitation. He just sent us a Sway, a link, okay, to take a look at the invitation, yung details, saan gagawin yung reception, saan gagawin yung kasal. Everything is there already. Diba? Isn't it nice? No? So, paperless na po tayo. And um, you can create and share interactive class materials, presentations, and projects. When I was in Microsoft, when I was working with Microsoft, no, um, yung newsletter namin every week, right? Instead of printing it or putting it on a PDF document, hindi naman namin binabasa ganyan kasi sinend lang via email, they actually use Sway for, um, to, to lay out and then just send us the link. No? So yung Sway kasi pag sinend mo yung link sa chat, either on any platform, no, um, any communication tool, no, madali, madali lang siyang ma-access. In just one click, you can now launch your Sway presentation. Um, some of the best um, uh, practices in using Sway, if you remember, no, um, ako, I'm a member of a press club before or school organ, ang tawag nila dati, no, um, yung school paper namin. And what we used to do before is we um, release bi-monthly um, newsletter sa aming school. And imagine, no, no, pag nag-release ka ng newsletter, noong panahon ko, 
hindi pa uso ang photocopy masyado. Ang ginagamit po namin ay stencil. So, ewan ko po kung may nakaabot pa ng stencil para sa mga season teachers, alam niyo po yung stencil, no? Pero po yung mga bagong teachers ngayon, ang naabutan niyo na lang po siguro mga um, lead projectors na ganyan, overhead projectors. Pero yung right now, um, before, stencil. At ang gamit pa na stencil is yung manual, yung iniikot. So, imagine we are going to produce, say, 200, 300, and masakit po yun sa kamay yung pag-ikot ng stencil machine. Okay? So, yan. So, you can use your um, your sway in creating your um, school paper. Lalo na po ngayon na malayo po yung mga bata sa school, hindi po sila pwedeng um, mag-face-to-face. So, what you can do, you can actually use Sway to create your newsletters. Alright. So, what does Sway make? Though? So, Sway will create, will allow you to create dynamic, interactive, and um, um, living and breathing canvas. Diba? So, in Sway, you can actually integrate um, slideshows, um, pictures, slideshow of pictures. Um, you can integrate um, this, parang before and after, di ba? Comparison of your picture. Uh, what else? Here you go. You can um, also add 3D models. So, I think, mas nauna pa yatang si Sway na nag-integrate ng 3D model rather than si PowerPoint and the other office application. Di ba? So, si Sway, you can actually, you know, you can add your 3D models here. Di ba? So, mas immersive siya. You can add videos. This is the same video that we played a while ago. You can um, add a sound clip. So, kung gusto yung mag-add ng music, pwede. Um, tignan natin. Let me play this um, clip here. Kung mauhulaan nyo po. Okay. So, remember that. Okay, this is your Skype. Kapag mag-open po si Skype dati, yan po yung sound niya. And you can add um, to it. Twitters, um, you can embed your, your tweet inside Sway. Say, for example, you wanted to quote someone. So, pwede pong automatic yan. You can just, um, you know, um, add your tweet there. And, di ba sabi ko sa inyo kanina, it's a combination of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. Ito po. This is actually a document embedded inside Microsoft Sway. Okay? Word document po yan. As you can see the icon here, you, you have your um, Excel worksheet integrated in Sway. So, I can, um, you know, very interactive siya, di ba? Very immersive. Pwede kong i-click yung aking mga slicers. Ayan. And makikita nyo, it actually um, changes the data in your screen. This is also a PowerPoint presentation where, you know, I can just browse into my PowerPoint and present my presentation. Pwede ko po yan palakihan if I want to. And, as a teacher, di ba, sabi ko sa inyo, you can create content. You can include content in Microsoft Sway. Dito po sa gitna ng Sway or sa dulo ng inyong Sway, you can actually integrate your um, quiz using Microsoft Forms naman. O, di ba? So imagine that, no? Um, with your Sway presentation, with your content, with your lesson inside Sway, pwede kayong mag-integrate ng any multimedia that you can put it in your Sway. Even a quiz. Diba? So, after nila basahin yung iyong ano, yung, um, lesson, okay, sa dulo ng Sway, meron po silang quiz. And, um, you know, Sway has a built-in design engine. So, kapag po si Sway, naglagay ka po ng content, drag and drop lang po yan, and um, automatically po, you can just remix your Sway, and then um, Sway will design your presentation for you. Okay? Redesign with a new theme, redesign the layout, ganyan. Right? And um, it is an adaptive layout. Sabi ko sa inyo, Sway can, um, you can view your Sway in, in, in your phone, in your tablet, in your laptop, in your browser. Okay, basta meron kang yung link ng Sway. So I'll paste the link here in our, um, yung Sway na to. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll put in the link. Alright in our um, Q&A uh, box okay, for you to access this Sway that I'm presenting right now. So, there. This is Sway. No? So, pakibasa na lang po yung ibang um, uh, details na nandito. But, let me now show you how you can now create your Sway 
to apply in the MEA program. So let me minimize that. Ah, before minimizing it, balik tayo dito. In your Microsoft Office 365, Okay, if you already have your Office 365, pag wala pa po, kindly kulitin po natin si ICT coordinator or si DITO po natin or si ICT officer po natin to claim your Office 365 account. Okay? So kahit A1 po yan, Microsoft 365 A1 or Office 365 A1 or A3, pwede po kayong gumawa ng sway, pwede po kayong gumamit ng Microsoft Teams as Erwin discussed a while ago. So, in your Office 365 account, when you log into office.com using your Office 365 um, email address, okay, makikita nyo po si Sway dito. Kapag hindi nyo po nakita, let me just zoom that. Okay, just click on all apps here down below on the lower left corner of your screen. And it will show you all your applications. Okay, so nandito po si Sway. So you can just click that and launch. Okay, and you can now start your Sway um, from scratch, or you can start from a document. As I've said, Sway is also available across platforms. So, so, so Microsoft Sway, meron din po siyang um, Windows application. Okay? So let me just um, get my uh, Windows um, application here. Okay, so this is Sway. All right, you can download it from the Microsoft Store. Okay, again, kung wala, pong, wala po kayong Office 365 account, okay, you can get your Office 365 account with your DITOs or kung kailangan nyo lang pong gumawa ng Sway, pwede rin po sa inyong free na Microsoft account, alright, for you to apply in the program. Okay, so of course, let me begin with, uh, with a new Sway here rather than from a topic or uh, from a document. Okay, so gawa po ako ng um, Sway. Halimbawa, isa po akong applicant no, ng Microsoft Education Ambassador. Okay, so yan. Create po tayo ng Sway. Okay, and then, uh, of course, para kayo magawa ng, I don't know, um, resume perhaps or your um, short bio, di ba? Um, Siyempre, lalagay ko yung pangalan ko. Okay, then... Um, Ito po yung, ano, yung storyline muna ni Sway. No? So, gawa po muna tayo. Uh, mamaya po natin tignan yung design. And then, I'll add. Okay, I'll add the background, for example. Say, magsasearch po ako ng picture ng school. Well, it's all up to you. Pwede po kayo mag-upload ng, ng background no, from your device if you want to. But right now, my, I'm just going to search um, picture of school. Okay, so if you can see, I have a lot of pictures here. And note, no? Um, as a good digital citizen, kailangan po naka-check yung Creative Commons only. Bakit? The Creative Commons will allow you to use these pictures okay, um, for your presentation. Okay? Na wala pong babayaran, wala pong lisensya. Okay? So, Creative Commons. Say, for example, I want to um, get this picture of school. Okay? This one, for example. Let me add that. There you go. And that's your title card, diba? Now, I can now add, okay, a short bio about me. For example, diba? Um, let me say, add a text. And then, I'm Eufer. I graduated as MedTech. Diba? In FEU. So it's all up to you, no? Um, of course, we wanted to impress the board of um, evaluators. Okay? So meron, in the Microsoft Educa Education Ambassador Program, for you to um, admitted, okay, you will be evaluated by our board of evaluators. And so meron po tayong board of evaluators who will take a look on your Sway presentation, on your video presentation. And okay, so for example, nagawa nyo na po yan, yung inyong short bio. Now, ano yung isang um, isang i-attach natin? Okay. So, sabi dun sa instruction, we need to attach our CMIE certificate. So, let me add, okay, and upload my certified Microsoft Innovative Educator certificate, which is this one. Okay. Let me open that. So, it's all up to you how are you going to lay out your sway. 
Okay, ang importante, makita po namin yung two-minute video, yung inyong CMI certificate, a short bio about you, and okay, your uh, optional pictures delivering a training. So let me embed this. All right. So it's now embedded in my um, Sway presentation. Now, here, no, meron kang um, option for you to emphasize your um, your 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 item, okay, or your um, content inside Sway. So I can actually set the emphasis to intense. Para, okay, mama, ipapakita ko po sa inyo. Pag naka-intense po yung emphasis niya, naka-full screen po yung ating certificate. So tignan natin na. Ah. Let, let let's try. So for you to take a look, ano po yung itsura ng, currently itsura ng sway po natin, on the upper right, okay, here, on the upper right corner of your screen, may nakalagay dyan na play. Okay, let me just click on that, and then it will show me, okay, yung itsura po ng aking sway presentation. I have here my name, okay, I have the background that I added, and I have here my certificate na hindi masyadong nakikita, di ba? Kasi um, hindi siya naka-emphasize. So what I can do, I'll go back to the edit mode, Okay, and then click on Emphasize to Intense. Alright? Okay, so okay na tayo dyan. Na-add na natin yung ating certificate. Now, let's add our two-minute video. Click on the plus button again. Diba? Very straightforward. For you to add an item, a content in your Sway, just click the plus sign and then it will show you options. Ano yung, kailangan nat ano yung pwede natin ilagay. Let me add a media and a video. Alright, so kailangan ko yatang mag-upload. Let me just um, delete that muna. Mas mabilis tong method na to. Add, and then upload. Alright, and then let me upload this video here. Oh, by the way, the video that I'm uploading, hindi, um, wala pa akong mukha dyan, but that's actually my voice. Um, we actually created that. Microsoft tasked us to create this video. Um, and upload it to the DepEd Commons. So para sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, kung gusto niyo po ng tips and tricks on um, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote, meron po tayo sa DepEd Commons um, Microsoft Professional um, Development um, Course. Okay, nandun po yan sa DepEd Commons. So that will help you um, uh, to utilize the Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint um, marami po kayo matututunan doon. Okay? Doon sa mga demo na ginawa namin. Okay? And of course, I want to um, emphasize my video siguro um, in the middle lang. Okay? Then, let me add my pictures naman. ba? Okay? And then, let me upload it. Click lang yung upload and then let me um, choose the four pictures here. Okay? Yan po yung training na ginawa ko po sa... Um, Grand Opera Hotel okay, during the last inset ng 2019. Okay, and then once uploaded, no, um, napansin nyo kanina dun sa Sway presentation natin, may mga nakastack na photo, may nag slideshow na photo. You can actually do that by clicking on group. Okay, so i-group ko lang sila. And then once group na po yung aking mga pictures, meron po tayo ditong option kung paano po or ano po yung Itura ng gusto nating layout. So right now, let me select the stock photos and then I will select yung emphasis. Okay? So now that I already added everything, okay, let me take a look on my sway now. Let me hit play here. Ayan na po. Diba? So nandito po yung aking um, short bio, for example. Pwede pong mas mahaba yan. Wala pong problema. Okay? And this is my CMIE, my uh, Certified uh, Microsoft Innovative Educator Certificate. And this is my video. Okay, so ganyan po ha. Palitan nyo po yung emphasis para po makikita po namin ng maayos, di ba? So let me just click this video here. Okay, and let's play it. Na natin, no? Oops, there you go. Ayan. So let me just play my video. Forward ko lang po ng konti. Ability of content in OneNote. It is part of Microsoft Learning Tools, which is designed to support students with dyslexia and dysgraphia. It can also support anyone who wants to make reading on their device easier. There you go. 
So that's a two minute video, for example. Okay, and my pictures delivering a training okay, during the inset. And okay, so here are my pictures, diba? And that's it. No, tapos na yung sway natin. Now, kung sabihin mo sa akin, um, you for hindi ako satisfied dun sa layout, eh, I want to change it. So go back to your edit mode. Okay. And um, pwede nating palitan yung design. So just click on the design tab here. And in the um, upper right corner of your screen, may makita kang styles. Click on styles. And kung napapansin nyo, diba, this is a um, horizontal scroll. Pwede ko rin yung gawing vertical scroll. And Okay? So, pwede gawing vertical scroll yan. And I can even, you know, um, change my theme here. Pwede kong i-change yung aking theme. Or kung hindi po kayo makapili ng theme, allow Sway to remix it for you. So, just click on remix. And then automatically, Sway will, you know, um, pick a theme. Okay? That is, you know, um, suited for you. Diba? So, yan. There you go. So once you're done, okay, okay ka na, satisfied ka na sa, sa itsura ng iyong Sway presentation, naglagay ka na ng picture and everything, you can now share your Sway presentation. Okay, so yun po importante. Pag kanapos natin gawin, kailangan natin i-share by clicking the share button here. And kailangan po, nakaset po yan sa anyone with the link can access this Sway. Okay, kasi pag hindi po yan nakaset sa anyone with the link, ibig sabihin, kayo lang po yung may access ng Sway na yan at hindi po makikita ng ating BOE okay, or ng ating Board of Evaluators. So, just click on, um, of course, no, kailangan view only. Hindi pwedeng edit yung ibibigay nyo. Kasi pag edit um, link, may sabihin, may edit namin yung Sway nyo. Diba? So, what you can do, just click on the view and then let's now copy Okay, the link. Okay, yun lang po yung kailangan natin. Okay, so ginawa nyo yung sway. Alright, pag tapos na kayo, just click on share and copy the link. Tapos doon na tayo sa ating step 3. Okay. So, nakapi na natin yung link. Balik tayo sa ating step 3. Submit your application. So, kindly fill up the following um, form to signify your intent to join the program, the MEA program. So, click. And this is your um, your application form. So, say, Ufer, Passion. Um, there you go. And... There you go, email address. Halimbawa, ganyan. And then say, sabihin ko, non-school. Then line, L and D. Then position. So, fill up nyo lang po yung form na yan. By the way, okay, pakilinaw po yung mga email addresses po natin. No? Um, kasi may mga nag-register po before dun sa ating orientation. Um, may mga mali po yung nalagay nila ng email address. Yung iba, nakalagay um, uferpassion at depend. Yung iba, uferpassion at depes.gov.ph. So, baka hindi po nyo matanggap. And, by the way, hindi naman po, kay, hindi naman po kailangan or required na deped.gov.ph na email. Okay? Ang nire-require po namin na email dyan is yung email na binubuksan nyo po everyday. Okay, yun po yung kailangan na email for you to be informed kung pasok kayo po kayo sa program. So, ilagay nyo po dyan yung email address na binubuksan nyo every day that you are checking it every day or yung mga email address na nakakonect sa inyong phones para dun po namin isend yung confirmation should you be admitted in the program. So, malinaw po yun, ha? Okay, it should be an email address that you are accessing it on a regular basis. Okay? Then, nagay ko ng teaching, click on next. On the next question or section, dito po natin ilalagay yung ating sway na link. Okay? So, please do not put number one, number two, number three dyan. Huwag po tayo maglalagay ng email address or anything. Okay? 
except for your SUI presentation link. Okay, huwag niyo pong ilalagay yung pangalan niyo dyan and all. Ah, pwede pa pala akong isang reminder. In your email address, pakibasa po mabuti email address po nila ang hinahanap dyan, hindi po home address. Okay, kasi pag home address, hindi po namin masasend yung confirmation sa inyo, di ba? So, kailangan po email address. Huwag niyo pong ilagay dyan, San Ildefonso, Bulacan, mga ganyan. Huwag po. Okay? Huwag <laughs> po ilagay dyan, um, Kawayan City, Isabela. Huwag po nating ilalagay dyan. Okay? So, please put in your email address. Alright? So, once nalagay na po natin yung ating link ng Sway Presentation, then we can now click next and continue answering the application form. Okay? Ganun po kasimple. Okay? So, pagka-fill up nyo po, just click on Submit. Okay, and then matatanggap na po namin yung inyong application. And reminder, application due date is June 18, 2021 at 11.59 p.m. So yan po yung kailangan nyo pong tandaan na date. So kung kaya nyo na po this weekend, Friday na po ngayon, di ba? Sabado, you can now record, you can now create your sway presentation. Huwag nyo na pong intayin ang June 18. Alright, so if you're really interested to be part of this program, if you are passionate on teaching, um, or on teaching or using technology in the classroom, if you're passionate in sharing your knowledge to your fellow teachers, please create your application now. Please create your video, your sway presentation, and submit it as soon as possible.